Hey everybody, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here. We're gonna talk about games that I could play and beat multiple times, so let's start the video. So for day day, I found a tag that is kinda old, but let's start it up again. And we're gonna talk about games that we can play and beat for multiple times, and it doesn't matter when we start the story, do we delete the save state, we are gonna just play it again and again and again. So I'm gonna start off with a staple that many people know, and that is Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3. I can play these games, and I even played the remaster a couple times afterwards, where I just delete the save state, start fresh, brand new, get all the way through the end, and get the story going again. These are a staple that stay with me all times because I just love the story. It's Crash Bandicoot. I love platformers. If you give me a platformer with a great story, and characters that I love, I can go back, play it over and over again, and it does not matter where I am in the story. I even sometimes will start a save that I've started a long time ago, get back to where I was just to beat the game. These are games that definitely need to be played multiple times. The next game on the list is another one that I talk about a lot, and that is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. The original one is a classic. There's multiple reasons why I play this game over and over and over again. And I've, again, played the remaster multiple times and beat it, but I don't count it. And that is because the soundtrack is a banger. The game is always fun. There is multiple skaters that you could play as. I usually go with Tony Hawk first, but then there is a ton of skaters from back in the day, from the 90s, early 2000s, that were so in the limelight and now you don't see them as much, but definitely like to go back and play them. I know all the levels front and back, but it does not matter. I don't care. I can keep going. It always brightens my day. I sometimes just, have said this before, left the game on and just let the soundtrack play because it was so good. But definitely could play this one over and over and over again. No, never gets boring with me. The next game is also a staple in my collection that I've talked about a lot, but not a bad one. And that is Saints Row the Third. This was the game that <laughs> divided the franchise, divided the fan base, but it was such a classic. When the commercial came out the first time, I loved it so much that I pre-ordered. Back in the day, I didn't pre-order a lot, and this was one of the few games that I pre-ordered. I also loved that there was multiple endings, so you could go through, play it, save this building, destroy this building, go in, save this person, don't save this person. So it had multiple ways you could play through the story. So it had a lot of replay value. And I recently played this again and I didn't get bored. I knew the end. I knew all the way through, but I still kept playing, had a fun time. Definitely a game I recommend if you have not tried it out. It's a good one. And I understand why a lot of people don't like it because it went goofy and weird, but there's a ton of achievements and a ton of just on the side quests and different things that are goofy and fun for a reason. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be something you can lose yourself in that world and not have to worry about it. The next game is a game that I have played and beat multiple times because I love Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing New Horizons has been a staple in my game and I don't beat it at all because I already got KK Slider, but there's a game that also has DLC and it's Happy Home Designer. Happy Home Designer is a game that I've deleted the save state, started over again, and went back fresh, brand new because I wanted to get more villagers in, I wanted to get more people in, see what their house is gonna look like, and I loved it. It was a fun time with just going through, seeing their weird requests that they would ask. They would ask for a, uh, I want a barn atmosphere or I want a little chic house. I loved it and, and I can always keep going back to this and I understand a lot of people didn't like it but once I realized what the characters were and once I were was in the world and knew what it was about, it was a good time and I enjoyed this. So I take this with me on plane rides, <laughs> I forget that I'm in the plane, I also have doodle jump with this but this is one that I can go back to. And the final game that I have beaten multiple times is Grand Theft Auto V. 
This game is such a good game. Story-wise, I enjoyed it. I loved that there was multiple endings. When I first got it, I played and beat it three times because there's three different endings. And I wanted to see what happened to all the characters with each ending. And I also kept playing afterwards to see what they would do after your decisions that you made. You could still go and play all the side quests. There was multiple things that you could do after the game was over. And I played this recently and still didn't get bored. <laughs> The only thing you had to worry about was my driving. If you didn't like my driving, get off the sidewalk. That's all I gotta say about that. And I just kept playing, had a good time with it. I just never got bored. And I loved that if you had any quests, you could look and see who had all these quests and you can go through and you would choose to go like, oh, I'm gonna see what Michael's doing. And you would see that the character was just chilling in the world. The AI was still going. And so you would see what they were doing at that time and they would just, oh, gotta get up, gotta start the day. And I love the interactions between the three characters. I had a good time with it. So definitely a good game to go back to all the time. And there you have it, everybody. A list of games that I can go back to, play multiple times. Let me know. What are some games that you can go back to multiple times, play over and over again, and never get bored with? This is an open tag, so if you're brand new, Give me a sub, helps out the channel. If you like the content, give it a like, and I'll catch you next video. Bye, everybody. Linda the Gamer Gal, she's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Gal, she's here, she's playing games today.